Are you ready for a story? How about a story about music? This story is called The Songbird's Flute. It's based on a folktale from Guatemala. There once was a king who had a very beautiful daughter. When she was a little girl, she was happy. She loved music and she sang more happily than any songbird in the forest. But now the princess was older, she was unhappy. She never sang. She never even smiled. No one knew why. Oh, I hate to see my daughter so sad, said the king. I so want to see her happy again. The king talked to his best advisers. How can I help the princess be happy again? He asked. She needs a hobby, said one advisor. She should collect butterflies. Has she ever seen a clown? said the other. A clown will make her laugh. <laughs> the king tried these ideas, but they didn't work. Finally, the king remembered the princess's love of music. Music made my daughter happy once, said the king. Maybe it can make her happy again. The king asked every musician in the kingdom to come to the palace. Then he told them, There will be a great concert. Each of you will perform for my daughter. The musician who makes my daughter smile will win a room full of gold. Every musician wanted a win, so they all started to practice for the concert. On the day of the concert, each musician performed for the princess. A woman played a sweet folk song on her guitar, but the princess didn't smile. A man played drums with a joyful rhythm, but the princess didn't smile. An old man played a happy melody on a violin, but the princess didn't smile. Other musicians played other music. Their music didn't make the princess happy either. Finally, a young man stepped up to sing for the princess. I have never seen such a beautiful girl, he thought. I have to make her smile. He started to sing. He sang with great feeling. The music he made with his voice was more beautiful than the music the other musicians made with their instruments. As he sang, the young man watched the princess's face. As he watched her, he fell in love with her. And because he sang with great love, the princess smiled. Young man, said the king, you have won the gold. I, I don't want the gold, said the young man. Instead, I would like to marry the princess. The young man's bravery surprised the king. The king was speechless. So the princess spoke. You sing beautifully, said the princess, but you don't sing like a songbird. If you can learn to sing as sweetly as the songbirds in the forest, I will marry you. The young man ran to the forest to listen to the songbirds. Day after day and week after week, he practiced trying to sing like them, but as beautifully as the young man sang, he could not sing like the songbirds. Oh, I will never sing like a songbird, he said sadly. The princess will never marry me. Suddenly, a great bird landed next to the young man. It held a small hollow stick with holes in it. The young man was surprised to hear the bird speak. This is a special flute called the Chiramia, said the bird. Learn to play it. Then you will play more sweetly than the forest songbirds sing, and you will be able to marry the princess. The bird gave the young man the flute and flew away. The young man learned to play the Chiramia. He practiced all day and all night. Soon. 
he played such a beautiful melody that the forest birds thought he was one of them. They flew around him and sang as he played. Now I am ready to play for the princess, said the young man. As he walked back to the palace, the songbirds followed him. At the palace, the young man played for the princess. The princess smiled even more brightly than before. Ah, oh, the music you make is even sweeter than the music of the songbirds. I will marry you, said the princess. Your love is worth more to me than all the gold in the world, said the young man. The happy princess and the young man soon married, and they lived a life full of music and love. The end.